It's crazy to think that we are already approaching the summer league in the NBA after the crazy week that we just had as it pertains to free agency. Now, for me, I don't put a ton of stock into the summer league because obviously we've seen years where the Bulls won the summer league title or you had guys like Denzel Valentine being a summer league MVP candidate leading that team to the title. So summer league usually isn't a good indication of what a team has going for them or what a player will eventually become in a summer league environment when the competition isn't going to be as tough as you would see a player go against a full NBA roster. However, with that being said, there are some guys that we should be keeping a close eye on as we head into the Bulls' first summer league game, which is starting on Monday, and that's what I want to talk about in this video. So what's going on, everyone? You are listening to Bulls Central here. Hope you're all doing well. Really quick, I've had a lot of people asking me recently, when are you going to be doing the final giveaway for your 10,000 subscriber giveaway? The last of the five. Uh, the grand prize, you know, where I'll be giving two tickets to a game at the United Center for this upcoming season. And I will be doing it soon. Uh, for those who are new to the channel, which we've had a lot of new subscribers to the channel recently, which is great. Welcome to the channel. Very happy to have you here. But for those who are new, I had done a series of five giveaways to thank my viewers of the channel for reaching 10,000 subscribers. And we have completed four of those so far doing one giveaway per week on a random video. So to answer everyone's question on this, I will announce the giveaway of the final one on a random video like I have with the others. So make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and you have the notifications turned on so that you don't miss a video for when it is announced. Also a quick plug, but you can feel free to join the Bull Central Discord server. We are close to 500 members in there. The Discord is entirely free. I do not charge any membership fees, nor will I ever charge any fees for it. It will always be free. But the Discord is a great place to discuss Bulls basketball with the community. Uh, the link to all that can be found in the description. But anyway, let's talk about the Bulls Summer League roster. So as I mentioned, the Bulls' first game in the Summer League in Vegas will be taking place on Monday against the New Orleans Pelicans. And taking a look at the roster, which apologies, it might be a little hard to see with the fit on the actual screen, but the key players that most of us probably know and are aware of are, of course, Patrick Williams, the Bulls' number four pick from last season, uh, who wasn't able to participate in Summer League last year since there wasn't one. Uh, the Bulls will also have their second round pick from last year's draft on the roster in Marco Simonovic, who I'm sure we're all excited to see what he can do in the NBA after being a draft and stash player playing overseas in Serbia for the past few years. Then you also have Devon Dodson, the Bulls' undrafted player that they signed a two-way contract to last year and played some minutes for the Bulls. And he was also extended a qualifying offer for the Bulls just this past week. It'll be interesting to see whether he'll remain on the on this roster with all of the point guards that this team currently has. And then of course, the guy we've all been talking about and waiting for the Bulls second round pick for this year's draft in Chicago native, Ayo Dusunmu. Uh, these are the main guys that we know and are familiar with, whether being on the current Bulls roster or will be on the roster shortly starting this next season. There will be a couple of other guys that I personally will be looking out for. You know, a lot of people have been talking about small forward Tony Braxter Jr., a very athletic wing out of Morgan State. Uh, had himself a pretty solid NBA, or not NBA, college career, especially in his junior and senior seasons. However, he has not been able to find his way onto an NBA roster. He is 25 years old, so a little older if we're talking about potential rookies coming into the league. But his athleticism and explosiveness and highlight level dunks have got me excited to watch this this kid going into summer league. I'm also excited to see what Tyler Bay can do, the 6'7 uh, forward out of Colorado. He was actually the 36th pick in the second round last season and ended up playing for the Mavericks last year on a two-way contract, ended up playing 18 games. Didn't show up that well on the team, but I think what intrigues me about Bay is that one, he's a wing and the Bulls could always use a little wing depth, but he's 23 with potential and could be a good option for the Bulls if he shows up well and is able to make the team or at least make it to training camp to compete for a roster spot in the preseason. And then finally, uh, Omari Spellman. Uh, so Spellman was actually a first round selection, albeit the last pick in the first round in 2018, and was actually the number 17 overall recruit coming out of high school in 2016. Uh, he played both for the Hawks and the Warriors in his first two seasons and was actually a decent big man off the bench for the Warriors. Nothing incredible, but he averaged 7.6 points per game and 4.5 rebounds. And the guy can actually spread the floor decently well with his ability to shoot the three at a 39% clip. He wasn't able to find himself on an NBA roster last season and has had his struggles maintaining consistency. But again, if he can show up well in the summer league, this could be another good option to give the Bulls some front court depth on 
a cheap deal. Of course, there are other players on this roster, but really those are the guys that I am going to be looking out for and mainly the ones I initially mentioned in Patrick Williams, Marco Simonovic, and Io Sumu. So for Patrick Williams, I mean, we're obviously the most familiar with what he can do for me. I'm kind of viewing this as more of an experience thing for him than anything, getting some good run against players that aren't as talented as an NBA roster to show what he can do, gain some confidence, and being aggressive against lesser talent. Really, you would think that he would be the leader of this summer league team in being their best player. And of course, Simonovic, you know, I'm going to be paying close attention to him to see how his game translates from overseas professional play up against NBA prospects in an environment that's going to be hyper competitive because a lot of these players in the summer league are going to be competing for roster spots, whereas Simonovic already has a spot on the Bulls. But still needs to prove his worth that he belongs. Need to see him crashing the boards, being aggressive in the paint, and of course spreading the floor and knocking down those threes, which we saw him do pretty often in Serbia. And then with Io, gotta see him running the offense, getting that experience, being the floor general of the team, and being a two-way player in the backcourt that can get you some much needed offense. And this will be critical for his development in entering the league as he's likely gonna get some run as a backup point guard who will really be uh, needed to be a facilitator behind Lonzo Ball. Again, it is summer league and generally summer league doesn't really mean that much of anything other than just getting some of these younger guys some experience and opportunities to develop. And it also allows for more unknown players to make a statement and that they belong on an NBA roster and showing what they can do to bring to an organization or an NBA organization. I'll likely have some recap videos after these games. Um, it'll be a bit more challenging for me to watch all these games given some of them are actually being played during the day while I work, but I'll see what I can do. I wanna know what most of you guys are thinking about this year's Summer League. What are you gonna be on the lookout for? Who are you most excited to see play in the Summer League? And who do you think will be the biggest surprise? Let me know in the comments. And of course, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the tickets giveaway that is gonna be announced soon. Thanks again for tuning in guys and I will catch you in the next one.